What's up YouTube? I'm back. This is DJ Byron and this is your music and topic TV. Let's go! What's up YouTube? I'm back. This is DJ Byron, music and topic TV. Once again, we'll bring another hot discussion, another hot topic, and of course, another good music to all of you guys out there. Alright, but first, I just want to say thank you to all the people who subscribe to my channel. I appreciate all of you guys and please keep sharing my channel to your friends. Alright? So once again guys, we have another hot topic. When I say hot topic, mainit init pa. Okay, if you are a sport fan, especially a basketball fan, you guys probably have an idea what I'm talking about. Alright? We're gonna take a but first we're gonna take a break from talking or discussing Francis uh, Leo Marcos, you know, he's still a hot topic, he's still trending in the Philippines at we, as we speak. But I want to take a break from discussing about Mr. Francis Leo Marcos, okay? But don't worry, we're going to go back again and discuss him. And, you know, I want to I wanna hear again your comment about him. But right now, we're going to discuss about basketball, alright? Especially for all the basketball, basketball fanatic out there. And for all the fans of the Chicago Bulls, especially Michael Jordan, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? We're gonna discuss about the Last Dance. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about the Last Dance, especially the last two episodes? If you guys haven't seen the series or the or the Last Dance documentary from the ESPN and also Netflix, you guys are missing out big time. So please watch it. Okay, it's a ten-part episode in Netflix. It was previously played in the ESPN. I'm pretty sure they can use some replay on that. And you're gonna you're gonna learn and you're gonna see a lot of behind the foot footage of um, Chicago Bulls back in their prime in the 90s. Okay, so please watch the Last Dance. Okay, and of course, aside from the Last Dance, um, on the episode, I think that was like the seventh or the eighth episode. There was like an interview that happened on the past of teammates of Michael Jordan regarding about his attitude and his mindset okay I'm gonna play an audio interview of their of his previous teammate in Chicago Bulls and let me know what you guys think okay because I, I read a lot of comments um, I hear a lot of um, um, uh, discussion about Michael Jordan's being a bully but first I want to see and I want to read your comment after I play the audio interview, okay? So I'm gonna turn down a little bit the volume and I'm gonna play the audio interview of Michael Jordan's previous teammates from the Chicago Bulls. And then, guys, another topic. Nike released another Jordan shoes, okay? For all the sneaker heads out there, you know what I'm talking about, right? Nike dropped the Air Jordan Retro 5 and I was I was able to get one I'm so lucky I was able to get one you know so we have to kasi nakakuha ako nakapag purchase ako nito so I'm gonna show you guys the box alright but we're gonna we're gonna discuss this toward end of this of this um, this show okay let me get the box and show it to you guys okay alright here's the box right here here you go here you go that's the Jumpman logo alright Alright, we're gonna discuss that later, okay? I haven't even opened the box yet. I mean, open, I haven't seen the shoes yet, but I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna show it to you guys and let me know what you guys think about the shoes. Alright, but first, let me know what you think about The Last Dance. For me, I think it was a pretty good show, um, especially a pretty good documentary, especially the, they're featuring the Chicago Bulls on their prime back in the early 90s and also late 90s. And then, you know, all the players, fast food, um, teammates of Jordan, of course, the airness itself. Michael Jordan was there being interviewed by ESPN. So I think I w I'm surprised also some of the scene that I saw on this um, on the on the documentary. So please watch it, guys. Okay, so you guys can answer you know our discussion here. Okay, because maganda siya. I mean, for me, I'm a basketball fan, especially a Chicago Bulls fan. Of course, hindi ko siya pinalagpas. Alagang pinanood ko siya. All right, so. I'm gonna play now guys an audio interview of Michael Jordan's previous teammate from the Chicago Bulls and let me know what you guys think okay I'm gonna turn the volume of the music a little bit down so you guys can hear the audio interview and let me know kung ano sa tingin nyo ang, ang, ang attitude to Michael Jordan towards his teammates okay alright 
let me play the audio interview. All right, guys. So, what do you guys think? You know, um, what do you guys think about the interview of his previous teammate? That was, um, I think that's um, Scotty Peep and the last person who spoke in the audio interview. So, let me know, man. Let me know what you guys think about Michael Jordan and you in on his attitude. Kung Shaba is a bully or he's a little bit tough on them. Um, I think Jordan, for me, this is my, this is my. Um, my comment I think Jordan has a mindset of a champion you know like what you heard in the video it worked you know your fear factor it's so it's so deep and it's so hard and it actually it worked because why I think for me Michael Jordan wants his teammate to ha- to play the same level as he played on the basketball court Kaya, he was pushing his teammate on that direction on that uh, on that route na, you know he was able to you know, um, probably he was able to so mean. Or he was he was already so um, mean to, to to them, and you know, he's um, stepping over the boundaries of just not being just a te- uh, a teammate. But guys, I think um, Michael Jordan has a different mentality when it comes to playing basketball. You know, he's he um, kusubagas um, talagang ang mindset niya, guys, talagang a mindset of a champion or a hungry lion to become a champion to become you know to become a um, what you call this a ruler on the basketball court that's why guys imagine this six times six times Chicago Bulls um, won the championship 91 92 93 okay 96 97 98 they have two three pits and the history tells us that Chicago Bulls is one of the greatest NBA franchise in the history of the sport you know so I guess you know because of NJ's mentality it's like contagious the how on a from Dennis Rodman to Scottie Pippen you know um, Tony Kukoc um, who else Luke Longley um, Ron Harper those those um, great 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 players from the Chicago Bulls back in the 90s was able also to play the same level as Michael Jordan played, you know. And they have the same vision. What is that vision to become champion? And it worked like what you hear from the interview, you know. Um, there's an episode on the on the Last Dance, okay. Um, I think on the seventh episode, the eighth episode. This is during practice, and for all the Warriors fans out there, this is kind of spoiler. Michael Jordan and also Steve Kerr had an altercation. They got into fight, but I don't want to spill over the whole details. Why? But watch, please watch the last dance so you guys will understand. Kung ano nangyari dun sa practice na yun. Okay? So wag yung palagpasan, guys, kasi dito ang dami kong natutulog ng garis Chicago Bulls from the from the franchise itself, the owner to the manager itself, guys. Map. It, it's a really good documentary about Chicago Bulls. Okay, so let me know what you guys think. Okay, um, if you're a fan of Michael Jordan, I'm pretty sure you to open the pass. And then, guys, let's come to the last topic, which is the shoes. What do you guys think about the shoes? Here's the shoes right here. Okay, this is the box. I didn't do any unboxing. Okay, because I don't know. I just don't feel like doing unboxing. And this is the, this is my size right there. Air Jordan Five Retro. All right, hindi ko na to, but first, guys. If you guys are a fan of Chicago Bulls, 
if you are living in the 90s, especially during their prime, hindi niyo pala lang kasi na you won't be able to grab an NBA cards of his, right? So, this is my my two NBA cards of Michael Jordan. You know, this is like the smooth grooves right there. Michael Jordan, see that? Um, this is like produced by Upper Deck right there. And then, I've, I had this special card, a hologram of Michael Jordan saying, MB, MVP. Alright, guys? So, sana guys, we're in Taiwan one of these days. If Jordan um, will have a world tour, and one of them is California, Bay Area, I mean, I will go there and hopefully I will get a chance to have his autograph in my car. You know, because that's going to be priceless, guys. That's going to be priceless. So we're talking about the GOAT, right? I'm pretty sure there are some DDs in there, but for me, he's a GOAT. You know, the way he played, the way his mindset worked, the way he carried Chicago Bulls and his teammate, that's the real deal. That's the, that's the GOAT mentality, you know? Um, I don't know about you guys, but for me, there's only one Michael Jordan. There's only one GOAT, Michael Jordan. Especially guys, when he played, they call him hang time or air time. Why? Because when he play, when he dunk, when he shoot the ball, everything is starting to go slow motion. <laughs> That's why he called him hang time, air ness. You know, Michael Jordan, you know. So everything goes slow motion, guys. That's how good Michael Jordan is. Okay, but guys, I don't wanna, I don't wanna take too much of your time. You know, I appreciate all of you guys. Now let's go to the shoes. All right, I'm gonna unbox the shoes. Alam niyo yung, you know the smell of the steakhouse. When you go inside of the steakhouse and then you open the door, the first sense of the steak being cooked and then hit your nose and you was able to smell it. Man, this is like, oh my gosh, the shoes. The shoes right here. All right, so let me get this. The shoes. All right, here you go. All right, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Bam, bam, man. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about the shoes? Huh? Classic, right? It's very classic. I like it. I like, I like the '90s style. You know, look. It's a high top shoes, basketball shoes, of course. And by the way, this is only my third Jordan shoes. Um, I was fortunate back in high school. I was able to get the 12 and the 13. But of course, during that time, I don't have a job. So I'm just hoping my mom will grab me a shoes and he was, she was able to purchase a shoes for me, you know. But sadly, I don't have that. But you know, I'm still, I'm still grateful I was able to get that. During Michael Jordan's prime, prime, okay? When he was like really on his prime in the 90s. But guys, look at the shoes right here. Oh my gosh, you know. I, lo I love the shoes, it's white. And then you have the silver reflective thumb right there with the jump and logo on the back of the shoes just like air like Nike air of course and then on the bottom of the shoes you have the jump and logo and then the Nike logo right there okay for me or all, all in all I think I can rock the shoes and especially this is a 90 style shoes I mean come on guys it's very simple very clean white leather soft leather you have this um, piece of plastic right here you know very very cool very cool design and style and guys this is an air jordan retro 5 see that so it's awesome right it's cool so what do you guys think about this just let me know i want to read your comment about what you guys think this is if you if you guys gonna you know gonna purchase it or are you guys gonna pass but i think for me you know it, this is this is this is this is a good buy why jordan brand is very hot right now in the market you know lahat ng bata lahat ng youngster not only youngster millennials but Whoever they have, they, they they love Jordan shoes. Okay, that's why ako, I was so I was so um, happy I was able to get one. Suerte ako, you know I got lucky I was able to get one. But the next day it was sold out everywhere. Online nato guys, uh, I was able to get this online. But you know if this is gonna be in the store only okay, and the second it's gonna be released, it'll be sh it will be, it will be sold out. But yeah guys, um I think it's comfortable. I'm gonna wear this one of these days. Take a picture of it, shoot a video, and let, I'll let you guys know if it's comfortable or not. But I think it's comfortable. You know, you have the sole right there. See that? You have the sole, bubble sole, air sole right there. So I think, all in all, this is a good shoes. I like it, especially it's Jordan. You know, who, who doesn't like Michael Jordan? You know? So, guys, once again, let me know what you guys think about the topic that we discussed tonight. You know, uh, what do you guys think about the last dance? The last 
two episodes of The Last Dance and then the attitude of Michael Jordan towards his teammate. You know? And of course, the shoes. This is this is this is all connected guys. That's why Pinak Sabay Sabay Kuna. You know, cause we're talking about Chicago Bulls, we're talking about Michael Jordan, you know. Hands down to Michael Jordan, for me he's the GOAT. Hands down to Chicago Bulls, for me they're one of the greatest team ever that played in the NBA. Imagine that guys, two, three peats. Come on. It doesn't get any better than that, right? So guys, let me know what you what you guys think, okay? Um, once again guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you guys and I, I, I hope you guys find value on the topic that I share with you guys on my YouTube channel. Please continue to subscribe. Um, let me know, you know, um, I, I love to read some comments about my audio, my mic, my music, if it's doing good or not. But once again guys, this is DJ Byron, this is Music and Topic TV. See you guys again in my next video. Peace out.